We've received word from Pakatari that one of his rebels. With that cartel base in Montuyok, leaving there was living in. I'm riding the motorcycle. Territory. After the base was gone, the town partied like crazy. You should have been there. The RV. Something isn't right. Come on, move. Shit, I got a body here. It's that rebel leader Amaru. We freed that guy from the cartel. I'm trying to call Pack, but it isn't going through. Think Pack and his rebels threw down with the cartel, and Pack had to run? It doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pack. Bowman, you got a situation. You set up a meet with Pack and one of his guys. With Pack? Where are you? Listen. Instead of Pack, we found Amaru. He's been killed. Have you heard from Pakatari? Pakatari is here with me in Pukara. Bowman. Bowman. The hell is going on here? No idea. But we gotta get to Bowman. Fast. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I will burn this whole country down and get back at them. Right there with you, man. Bowman said Pack was with her. Then the call got cut off. Might be the sad phone dropped the call. Might be Pack fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Bukhara? Got it. Bowman. Pakatari. What about him? He turned on us. We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Pak wants to have a public execution. Sorry, are you saying we need to stop Sueño from getting killed? I'm saying Sueño deserves to rot in prison for the rest of his life, not go out like a martyr. More importantly, he's got enough information inside his head to take down every major cartel out there. I intend to extract that information as thoroughly and as painfully as possible. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Nomad? You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the rebels are no longer our allies. Contact! Rebel hostiles! Let's go. Opening fire on these fuckers.
camarada. Pack, what the hell are you trying to do? Same thing as you, amigo. Doing what's right for my country. El sueño will die on Bolivia's soil. My people must know. The government must know. The other cartels must know. The rebels are not slaves for the Americans. We are strong on our own. That's why you killed Amaru. Because he wasn't strong enough. Amaru was a man of ideals. Brilliant ideals. But ideals do not feed people. Ideals do not build armies. Ideals do not take down corrupt governments. Neither does getting your people killed. My people know that if they die today, they will return tomorrow as thousands and thousands. That's not gonna make it any less painful. There is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life. It's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. Adios, camarada. Fuck. Engaging. The lieutenant. Shots fired. Booty died to shit. They spotted us. I'm opening fire. Somebody's gunning for him now. Shit, they're headed this way. Helicopter Watch inbound. Took out the helo. Helicopter, get down! Have a shot. Engage. Shit. We need that decided to show up to fight. <laughs> Chopper, hit the dirt. Hold up. God damn it. The cartel sent reinforcements. Grenade! Hit the dirt! Helicopter! Taking fire from cartel Sicarios. Fucking Unidad, too. Is there anybody in Bolivia? Hold on.
Sicarios are backing Unidad. Let's get back on mission. Is there anybody in Bolivia who ain't shooting at us? Grenade, get to cover! Grenade! Helicopter, get down! Watch out. Here they come. What's the play, boss? Shit. Unidad troops are reinforcing them. Show us your fucking hands! Now! I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad jefe. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir... Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir. Yes, I understand. Fuck! 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 Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck! who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you, if you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman... It seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors.
I'm sorry. NOC Karen Bowman, Plan Bolivia After Action Report. Officially, Operation Kingslayer was a success. The Santa Blanca drug cartel was dismantled, Unidad forces are severely weakened, and major shakeups are happening inside the Bolivian government. While the investigation into DEA agent Ricky Sandoval's murder continues, we're confident that those responsible have been neutralized. Most importantly, the man known as El Sueño is no more. He is now confidential informant number 38726B, and CI 38726B has been a veritable gold mine of intelligence. The Las Manas Muertes cartel accountant gunned down by the Mexican Marines last week? That was his. The El Saif terrorist cell arrested in Austria a month ago? Him too. Those Corsican Mafia gun runners taken down in West Africa? All thanks to the snitch formerly known as El Sueño. The deal is, as long as he provides us with actionable intel, we let him keep breathing that fresh, freedom-filled air. Obviously, he's not ratting out his friends. These are all rival groups encroaching on his business. But, as the old adage goes, the enemy of my enemy is still a fucking enemy. And what does he get in return? Aside from the elimination of anyone standing in his way? A luxurious three-bedroom condo in Pinecrest, Florida, along with free meals, a 50 buck per diem, and unlimited pay-per-view, all at the expense of our noble taxpayers. Of course, freedom is a malleable term. Thus, his room and board comes with 24-hour surveillance, live-in guards, and cameras in every room. Ever wonder how a former drug lord takes a shit? Trust me on this, it's not nearly as exciting as you'd think. And since most of the shit I say gets redacted anyway, I might as well give you a glimpse into my crystal ball. I won't last. Eventually, he's gonna run out of targets. And then what? No way CIA's putting up the money for a lifetime membership in WITSEC. Best case scenario? Mexico finally files their extradition papers and he ends up in prison for about a week before he disappears into the back of a suspiciously unattended laundry truck. Worst case, we just cut him loose. Maybe he spends a few weeks vacationing in the darkest corners of Eastern Europe before making his way down to El Salvador. Starts up a new cartel. Calls it El Renacimiento, the rebirth. Spends ten times more on security forces this go-round. Then makes his way into Peru and takes over the coca trade there. But now, he doubles down. Meth manufacturing. Heroin from the Middle East. MDMA, bath salt, steroids. If someone wants to swallow it, snort it, smoke it, or inject it, He'll make it, move it, and market it. Except guess the fuck what? I will be right there waiting for him. Me and my friends. Those operators, the ones who can't be seen, can't be heard, and can't possibly exist, yet somehow still manage to haunt your dreams. Bowman out.